I'm psyched about this. I couldn't wait to uh, read it. I couldn't wait to have you on to talk about it. Waxing on, uh, congrats on this. Thank you, man. Uh, what was it like to, to, to write a full-on memoir? Well, it, um, you know, I wanted to dive into telling the story of walking in the shoes of this Daniel LaRusso character and everything I've gained from it uh, and, and the... It's, Equal parts nostalgia and yeah. contemporary relevance. It's very unique to have something that I made in 1983 that is relevant today because you folks won't let it go away. And it's yeah, awesome. exactly. You know? It's fantastic. And, and so, yeah. So I, I wrote it during uh, season four and five uh, of shooting Cobra Kai. Uh, we were during the pandemic, so I had my uh, my lockdown times, ordering room service, and sort of going through the emotional ups and downs of the making of the film, the behind the scenes unsold stories, the, yeah. the launch of the summer of 84, what that was like for me and the afterlife. And it's a celebration of, of, of that in, in movie and pop culture and cinema and Also, I, I want to hear all this, the great stories too. <laughs> I know in here is the audition yeah. for Karate Kid, which I love that you wore a Tom Petty sweatshirt. Yes, I did. <laughs> well, the thing with the Tom Petty sweatshirt, and a members only jacket. Ooh. So if I had a mullet, I would have been the poster child. The <laughs> For the jacket. 80s, yeah, yeah. exactly. But I, the Tom Petty sweatshirt was because it was a thick material and I was always so insecure about my shoulders being so skinny, and hence why I'm wearing a jacket. Um, so I, I, I would pick wardrobe for auditions to, you know, look a little. Well, and listen, frankly, my shoulders have been on back order since the late 70s. Okay, all right, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So they, they, they're supposed to come in this But week, you're supposed so... to be a kid that's going to get in shape and yeah, become yeah, yeah. the karate so, kid. Yeah, that's what I... I, I don't know. What, I, think, I think maybe it was the only thing that wasn't in the hamper. Yeah. <laughs> maybe that's but you, why But you walked. charmed the director, though, because yes. we went... Yes. The auditions were here in the Upper East Side, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, Upper East Side, John Avel, the late, great John Avelson, who directed Rocky and the Karate Kid and other great, great films. Um, I went to his apartment... And um, he said at the end of the audition, he goes, um, listen, I can't guarantee you anything, but if I were you, I'd start taking karate lessons. Really? I was like, all right, that's pretty good for the first date. I was, I was jumping out of my shoes, excited. I mean... Pat Morita, you have great stories about that. It must have been emotional. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I know you miss him. He was the soulful magic, was uh, the root of the secret sauce of the Karate Kid. And and people he, don't even know that he was... He did stand-up yeah. for a while. No, he was a comic. He was the guy... I was so jealous of him back in the day, because he would do a scene about you know, uh, internment camps during World War II yeah. and Miyagi's backstory and losing tragedy in his life. And then he would cut and he would just lay into, like, cross-eyed zingers and fart jokes. And then <laughs> and yeah. go away. When I would, I'd be like, I'm, I can't turn that on. <laughs> and do I'd be like, I'm do doing it. a dramatic scene. Yeah. Everybody sit down. Yeah, this is a real... the camera. Yes. You know, so I was... But he jealous. almost wasn't cast, right? Because it was... Yeah. They, no, no, one, no one in the studio wanted... Arnold from Happy Days as Mr. Miyagi. It was just, uh, for all the... I mean, who... No one else could have played that role. I mean, no. it was just... Uh, um, it was Jerry Weintraub? Jerry Weintraub was like, there's no way I'm going to have this guy in my picture. <laughs> he, he wound up... And then, and then with John Avelson, uh, the director and folks said... I, I was the same way. I was like, you know, I don't know about that. You know, we were thinking in another direction. But uh, he, the moment I met Pat, the moment we, we you know... Uh, you know, shared the yin and yang of the, the, the give and take. Yeah. It was just unconditional, genuine love. It yeah. was just so And then Jerry easy. was like... Jerry no was like, yeah, I made the could've... biggest mistake of my life. Yeah. <laughs> you got the part. I was right all along. <laughs> yeah, I called and I knew you were the one. The one. Yeah, he's the greatest. Uh, uh, everyone's talking about Cobra Kai. We're loving the new season. We're wondering if there's going to be another season. We're hoping. There has to be. Yeah, well, we're, con we're counting on it. It's not officially picked up, so... Uh, Tell your friends, call your family, keep watching. <laughs> um, write in to Netflix with uh, an email. <laughs> write in to William, congressman, senator, whatever. <laughs> um, I think I, we were feeling really confident. Um, I think you're just it, opening it up. I mean, you're going international now. I saw yeah, that, that's season. the thing. We, we, they've, they've teed it up. The writers of the show are just so, so smart. They've teed up the next level. Just when you think in this karate soap opera, all is well. Something no, happens. Another door is going to open. Whatever it is, do what you keep doing. Uh, do keep it up, because it is fantastic. What Thank you. Right now, we yeah. love you, Ralph Macchio. Yeah. I want to show a clip. Here's Ralph Macchio in season five of Cobra Kai. Take a look at this. Terry Silver. This is how everyone sees him as some kind of philanthropist out to save the kids of the valley. That's why you're here. I tried to stop Cobra Kai on my own. Nothing's worked. There's only one way to end this. We have to cut the head off the snake. How are you doing, son? I can do that. 
Here. Hey, whoa, no, no, no. I didn't mean literally cut his head off. They're not for cutting. They're for blocking and stabbing and crowing and gouging. Okay, Dill, please put him away before Amanda sees them. Come on, Ralph Macchio, everybody. Season five of Cobra Kai is streaming now on Netflix. Check out his book, Waxing On, The Karate Kid and Me, out October 18th. We'll be right back with Jennifer Beals. Stick around, everybody. Hey, hey.